today we're doing a little bit of a little bit of sanding i'm always hesitant to work on paints my friend i'm gonna mess it up but we did a decent job going the entire car we polished it and today i'm doing my first attempt at actually wet sanding and then buffing it out i know i can do the buffing part but i've actually done the wet sanding part so we'll see now i will say i'm not wet sanding and buffing the entire car that would take forever and the rest of the car doesn't necessarily need it there is some orange peel in the factory paint but for the most part it's fairly smooth could it use it and would it look even better if i did the entire car sure but i just don't have that kind of energy but today i'm actually focusing on the new piece that i had painted so we're doing the fender uh the corners of the bumper and the top of the rear hatch the rest of the piece came out pretty smooth um but most time you have new pieces painted there is a level of orange peel that you get and you have to go through sand it down smooth it out and then polish it back so hopefully it goes well today also at the very beginning of this video i'll put out a disclaimer i am not a detail professional by any means this is not a how-to video this is just what i'm doing if you want a full-on how-to video there's plenty out there of how to wet sand buff all that kind of stuff this is just what i'm doing and there's a good chance i can mess all this up i have before so again this is not a how-to you can do what i do if it works if it doesn't work i don't do what i do clearly but again not a how-to video this is just what i'm doing if you want a professional how-to video there's plenty online you don't gotta do what i'm doing all that being said these are materials for today we have 2000 grit sandpaper we have 3000 grit sandpaper some tape uh, we have a little block sander here we have some gloves we have the grill it's complete compound really good stuff we have some finishing pads and the da my plan of attack is to start with the fender here i'm going to do the entire thing in 2000 grit then go back with 3000 grit then we'll bust out the da hit with the compound and hopefully after that uh, we've knocked down the orange peel as much as possible and removed all the scratches out of it that's the plan some people do just 2000 grit and then hit it with the da and it looks pretty good it's very hard to get all the scratches out which is why i'm going to do the 3000 to try and minimize um the scratches left over also we have a little block center there but the fender has a lot of curves to it so i'll be very very careful i'm putting even pressure the entire way because even though i'll be using 2000 grit sandpaper if i'm pushing too hard in a certain area it might leave like an 800 grit scratch which my polishing compound then won't take back out if that makes any sense so we have to be very very careful of making it nice and even the entire way through even coverage even scratches very very light pressure with 2000 and 3000 and then polish out and um hopefully afterwards if you can see it on camera or not you can see right here in the reflection all through this section got that orange peel right there the top section up here for the most part this entire section very very smooth majority of it's kind of right in this corner right here is a little bit down through here and then some towards the front but i'm gonna do the entire fender just make sure the entire thing's smooth and we'll see how it goes so i'll check back in after the uh after the 2000 grit taped up that way i don't hit anything i don't want to hit with the sandpaper and we just stay in our one area here i was going to use this sanding block but it's very very stiff like i said on the fender there's really no flat spots everything has some sort of like contour to it and it's got you know dips and whatever else so i use a magic eraser around my sandpaper so it's kind of soft that way as i'm going through very lightly it can kind of move and bend to the lines of the car that way hopefully i don't put too much pressure in any one spot and make the scratches too deep so we're taped up, ready to go. I've got a spray bottle full of water over there. And uh, I guess we're ready to start. Best of luck. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I did the polishing on the car, just touching the car with the DA was terrifying, but now we're taking sandpaper to my paint. Whew, like I said, best of luck. <laughs> this is terrifying.
after round one with the 2000, you can see where we're currently at. The light gray spots, I would say, are the peaks and the spots that are still gloss black would be the valleys where that's the orange peel where the top and the bottom is at. So looking at this, I need to go through probably a give 2000 and take off just a little bit more. Again, I'm going very, very light, letting the same paper do all the work. That way I don't dig too deep or take too much off. But you can see, and I missed this spot over, over there. We want to have a nice universal gray across much the entire thing. That way we can level this back out, at least as best I can. I don't want to take too much off and go through the clear, because that'd be terrible. But I'll do one more round of 2000, see if I can't get this. Because this, this spot right here was like the worst spot. You can see about all this. Over here, it's more universal. So I'm going to go back through, hit the entire fender again. Try and level this out a bit more. All right, so let me show you guys how we're looking after round two. I added a little bit more pressure with the um, the sandpaper. Again, I didn't want to go crazy. I don't want to go too deep and I'm burned through the clear. I know he put a good amount of clear in here, but I don't know exactly how much. And I don't want to get greedy and try and push too hard and mess with something. But we have a much more universal gray of the entire fender. You can still see some spots where I could go a little bit deeper. I need to hit right here a little more, kind of miss that section, because again, it does a bunch of weird stuff like this, so it's kind of hard to get the right pressure in all the spots. But overall, a much more universal gray than last time. You can still see the uh, the values we do have. I might do one more, the 2000. Again, I don't want to get greedy, but I think I can do a little bit more through spots like this. For the most part, majority of it is definitely gone, way better than before. So we'll do one more layer of 2000. All right, just finished up the third and hopefully final round. Go ahead and wipe all this off. We'll see how we're looking. All right, that's not bad. So still a little bit through here. But for the most part, that's a pretty universal gray and it feels very, so I can feel a little bit right on the edge still. But again, on the edge right here, like this section, there might be way less clear. So again, I don't want to get greedy and try and go for too much. And then I burn through the clear and we have a bigger issue. So I think from where you started to, to where it's currently at now, the paint or the clear is sitting pretty flat throughout this fender. I think I'm comfortable now to go to the 3000. And then after that, we can polish it and hopefully it looks like, you know, like that afterwards and it doesn't stay looking like this. super happy I decided to go back with the 3000 because look at this nice just universal flat look at that now this is all pending I didn't take too much off but the 3000 is less abrasive than the 2000 um, I just leveled everything out the last little bit hopefully I didn't pull the clear off it I think we're good um, but yeah, doing the 3000 after the 2000 was definitely, I think in my opinion, a good option. Uh, Jack actually told me that Jack is the one who painted these pieces and he said, yeah, do 2000, then 3000, and then polish it out. It should be good. Like I said, some of the videos I watched just did 2000 and to polish it out, which works, but I think um, seeing this now, the extra little bit of time to go back with the 3000, definitely a good move. Super, super smooth. Everything for the most part looks to be leveled out. Our work section over here, looking really good now so i'm gonna do one more pass there's a couple little spots over here on the bottom side that i missed um just one more pass for the entire thing and then uh we'll bust up the polish and i think we're doing pretty good so i went ahead and did a second layer with the 3000 and at this point i am actually very happy with how it looks jack actually stopped by a little while ago and he said overall looks very very good 
and we were ready for polish, you'd actually see there's a reflection. Even though it's sanded, we already have, you can see how smooth it is just out of the reflection. So I'm gonna grab our Griot's Complete Compound. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fine finishing pad here with our DA. All right, well, I am pleased to say I didn't destroy my fender. Always good. Shining pretty nice, looking pretty smooth. I might have actually made this fender now smoother than the rest of the car. Because again, like I said, factory, this car has orange peel in the paint. And I may have made this one smoother than the rest. We'll have to see. But overall, not bad now there are still some light scratch i can see the fender is very hard to do at least with this size the six inch one um because of again how many like curves the fender has this rolls over this rolls up then flat again here all of this is like this it's very difficult with this size to hit everything properly so i'm gonna go over it again focusing more on this section through here where most of my scratch i can still see are but overall from where it was to where it's at now huge improvement it's still terrifying using this on the car and sanding your paint down but take your time and uh, if you mess up you can always try and fix it but overall we're doing pretty good so far so i'm gonna do another pass over this fender hopefully get these last little bit of scratches i don't even see on camera or not maybe not there's still some through this section here so we'll go through again up here is pretty nice up here i got nice pressure most of the way through so this section like through here and the flat section here is the best section so far but down through here again it's, it's very hard to get in here perfectly like be flat and stuff so we'll hit it again but that's not looking too bad but look at the reflection that's not bad at all so i went ahead and did two more rounds on this fender here and now now she's looking let I me mean, look at that now she's looking pretty good there are still some light scratches um this wasn't going to take everything out um but i had to go back again and really slow down i was going way too fast the first time had to slow down a bunch let the heat do its job and now she's looking pretty good it's not perfect but i said there's still some light scratches in there but the shine looks fantastic all the orange peel over here is gone so I call that a win. I'm gonna do the hatch neck because it's flat, it's a small section, very easy to do. The bumper, I only have to do like, it's from like here to there and a little bit of like right here. Um, but with how big this pad is, I'm already seeing it to be an issue to try and buff just this side. And I don't know, sand will be no problem, but to actually buff it back, it's gonna be kind of difficult. I might take it off the car, that might be a little bit easier. But I have to find a way to actually hold the bumper, like support it as I'm trying to buff it. So. I might just tape this side and try and just use a corner and go through here. Um, we'll see about that. But I'm going to do the hatch next because, again, it's flat, very easy to do. And that shouldn't take me too long um, to actually knock out. So looking at the hatch, it's really only from, like, here to there. The rest of the hatch is good to go. Just this little bit, you can see, between the roof here that I've already polished versus there. You can see the obvious difference between, if you look at the light here, smooth and crisp. And then I'll see the orange peel. So again, it's only like from like here to like there, all very, very flat. This should be super easy to knock out. The rest of the hatch is good to go. So not a big deal. So I'll show you again. This is the before. And then I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the after. It should be no difference between here and here once I'm done. Same process, 2,000, 3,000 buff polish. So went ahead, spun the car around. If you look, I actually went ahead and taped off the entire section around the entire top half of the hatch. I was just gonna go ahead and wet sand and buff just this middle section here, but there is some orange peel, if you can see. Kinda of hard to tell on camera, but this section throughout here has got a little bit. And then on this side, there's a little bit down here on this corner spot. The problem I found with working on paint and learning more about paint as I go, the more you see. 
And I'm like, oh, I can just fix that. I can just fix this. And these pieces I know just got painted. They have a lot of clear on them. I know what I can work with. But like as I look at the rest of the car or other cars, the more you know about paint and learn about it, you start seeing more and more things. And I kind of miss the days where I didn't know anything about paint and I would just wash my car dry it off and the scratch and swirls were there and I was just happy as can be. But now that I see that kind of stuff, especially on a gloss black car, it's brutal. But we're gonna go ahead and wet sand the entire top section of the rear hatch. Then we'll go through, buff it out. And that'll probably be everything for today. I think for the front bumper, I have to pull it off the car and I might just need a smaller buffer because I don't know if the one I have now is gonna work in those tight spaces. It's gonna have to be off the car for sure. Uh, because looking at it, if I wanna get like up tight close to here where the fender line is, um, it's gonna have to be off the car. So that'll probably be a tomorrow kind of thing. But at least for today, fender's done, has to be done. The car be looking really good. Just finished up with the 3000 grit. Nice and smooth, nice and uniform the entire way around. So now we polish it out and we'll be done for today. Right, first pass with the DA done. Not too bad, you can still see some scratches through here. Put that again. Top section though, Looking pretty good. Mm, same over here on the corner. Yeah, this looks pretty good. The flat sections are pretty easy to keep even pressure and get the heat up. On the sections that kind of curve and do this, uh, it's kind of hard to get the even pressure on it, but I'll hit it again. And then at that point, we should be good to go. But that looks pretty good compared to what it was. Oh yeah, leads the reflection over there. In my hand, very happy with that. So we are officially done for today. Let me show you the uh, rear hatch. Looking super nice. Everything wet sanded, polished out, and then waxed. And now looking at the roof from there. Actually, this is filthy compared to the car. Look at that. Nice and smooth lines. Smooth lines into all the dust, but still, much better. Much, much better. I took my time on these corners here. Got just about all the scratches out of here. It's not 100%, but it is so much better than it was. So, hatches down again. Uh, 2K, 3K, polish it up, and then wax it, so that's good. And then you guys saw the fender already, but I hit it with some wax. And same thing. She's looking really nice. Again, there's still some light scratches in it. Uh, there's a little bit of orange peel still really close to the edge, but I don't want to get too close to the edge of the fender and I couldn't because the door was there. Also, I pull the entire fender off and like kind of wrap around, but you gotta be careful because the clear gets less towards the edges. So I want to be safe. I don't want to get greedy and go for too much, but from where we started at to where we're at now, I mean, I can see myself clear as day, nice and smooth, looking really good. I actually think between the fender and the hatch, I might have this paint smoother than the factory paint. Again, the factory paint has orange peel. It's not out of control, but you definitely can see it. Um, that's just Volkswagen OEM paint. Nothing I can do about that. But I think where this is and the hatch is, it might be smoother than the rest of the car. Once I wash it, because right now there's a layer of just that on everything, because black car, it's always filthy. But once I wash, I'll be curious to see if this is now smoother than the rest of the car, which would be hilarious. But it is what it is. I'm pleased with this. Looking good. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do about this section down here. I might have to get that much smaller, maybe like the two inch um, DA to actually be able to get inside of here and do up here. It's not, like I said, in some lights, it's not super noticeable, but I can see it and it's kind of bugging me. Um, so I do wanna fix it. And now that I know I am capable of doing this, I would like to finish the bumper as well. But I think this definitely needs to go off the car so I can get to the top edge here because right now it's gonna hit the fender and that's no good so we'll probably tackle this maybe tomorrow uh, or maybe another this weekend we'll see but this came out good hatch came out good 
I'm pleased. So going to end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this was not a how to granted it worked, but it wasn't a how to. There's plenty of other videos out there that explain this way better than I did. But again, I did 2K, then 3K, then use the griots complete compound um, with the DA polish it out. And thankfully we got good results. But again, this is not a how to. I'm not a professional detailer. I am learning. Um, and I'm learning on the most ridiculously annoying color to ever work on, but I definitely enjoy learning new things and learning about paint. A little bit terrifying taking sandpaper to your paint, but hey, it all worked out thankfully, so we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.